Okay, today I'm making a video basically on how to make a bolt action for any air rifle you might want to modify or if you know you build your own rifle out of PVC and soda bottles or whatever it is that you're using that I've seen. Um, I'm planning on making one of those and I wanted it to be bolt action instead of a muzzle loader. So what I did was that I made two models out of paper and um, this is my first one and how it works is that oh, sorry there's a screw so this screw is on um, my bolt see it slides forward and back and how this one works is that when you have it connected how it would be was that this back part wouldn't be here but basically what it is is that it would be connected not to this part and what it is is that this would be a larger piece of PVC and the your barrel would basically be divided into two pieces the first one would go into front and you'd glue it in there and the second part would be the part that slides in and out and your valve or your yeah your valve would go back here on this part of your um, barrel and basically what happens is that when you go like this it would push the valve and the container everything back and then so or it would push the front part of your barrel forward and then back how this would work is that you're moving this you know put your ammo in there and close it obviously this isn't very well made but you get the basic idea and it's very simple to do and my other way is where the whole bolt action mechanism stays inside the barrel and this is my barrel all one piece and what you would do is cut a rectangular sheet right there where your ammo would go and that's the breech and then you know you have the little slit for the um, slider and how this works is that this is your barrel and it will be connected to your valve from the back going to the air compressor you know the container you're using and this slides back right notice it doesn't leave the barrel except for that little tiny piece but you know when you make it for your PVC make sure it doesn't leave the barrel or it could it just will get stopped and it'll stop on the valve back there and you have your breech you load it and you just slide it back forward and um, um, when you make this it's just stuck a little bit because I use paper and tape to make the models but when you make it make sure that there's a front piece that will pass the breech and will pass the little slider mechanism so you slide it back it doesn't matter how far back it slides but when you set it forward, what you really want to do is to make sure that there's um, a part of the inner thing that goes into your barrel. And the slider thing has to be hollow because the air will go through the slider mechanism into the barrel and push out your projectile, your ammo, whatever you're using. And um, yeah, that's basically it. If you have any more questions, just comment and I'll post answers as soon as possible I check my YouTube almost every day so questions would be answered as soon as possible okay so my third way of making your bolt action mechanism I did instead of with paper and tape is with a big, a big pencil I mean big pen <coughs> I just took the plastic part out I used the bendy straw because it fit inside and I wrapped tape in it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I wrapped tape around it so that it fit um, snugly. And then I made the groove marks, which, if you look closely, are a hole and then a groove here so that the nail will go farther along and the two little notches on the bottom. Alright, and this is how it goes. A bit. Alright, and then you see you lock it there, you lock it closed, 
and you lift that and you slide it back into a little notch and you can push it back down to lock it in excuse me get stuck a little bit see and it doesn't stick off the back so how this would work is um just exactly like a regular bolt action rifle except in real bolt action rifles what happens is that the slider comes out the back and if you're you know making an air cannon or something you can't have that happen because the back of the barrel is connected to a valve or uh, more tubing or some type of compressor if you just go straight for that so the way this works is that you stick um, whatever you use for your slider right? I recommend it's hollow of course and um, what you do is that you cut it so that you stick it in well first you gotta make your hole I'm sorry I keep tripping over stuff first you have to make your hole just the hole then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick whatever you need for your slider into it into the PVC and make sure it just reaches the end of the hole you're gonna cut it from there that's the length then you're gonna take it out and then you're gonna make your groove so you're gonna make a groove that goes back a little bit and in and what I would recommend before you do this would be to put the slider in and put like a nail or whatever you use for your handle stick it in there and then pull it back and see how much more or less you're going to need it to slide back so it reaches the exact back of the space you need and after you do that you, you can make your notches and then it or if you don't want notches you don't really need them unless you're going to make um you can use rubber bands or something to make the slider go back for if you want a more realistic feel personally i wouldn't recommend it because it's just going to make it harder for you but how this works is that you just slide it back into the groove and the little slider doesn't leave the thing you see and it's all back and then forward let's see let's see if i can do this without my hand getting in the way I'm sorry, my hand gets in the way either way. Oh, well, you get the point. Use the scissors. See, yeah, I could use the scissors maybe. See, just slides back. And it goes all the way back. It doesn't obstruct it, and the slider stays in. And again, since you have the groove, this makes it. See, there's some PVC above it. So it goes into the thing with some distance and then it has back into it and this way the air just goes straight through it and it won't escape